Don't worry about the language. Let, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome back to another video, guys. I'm glad you guys are here. Before we get started, please, please make sure to smash that like button. Destroy that like button so we can help the algorithm help us to get the word out. So this is going to be another video that's going to be talking about some of uh, the uh, Shia beliefs that... Uh, that that I wanted to discuss specifically. Uh, now, before I share the video <clears throat> and react to something, let me be. Let me first give you some background here. We know that in traditional Shia text, that there's no doubt that there is la'an made on Ahl Sunnah. I mean, Ahl Sahaba of the wives of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and among Ahl-Sunnah uh, Ahl -Sunna in general, right? There are many people who are more extreme in their Latin, like they just openly say it. And then there are people that say, no, our marja, they, they say that we should not do it. And, you know, they have two opinions regarding this, that one is either you just do it in private or you don't do it at all, you know, and... One of the people that subscribe to this opinion, even though I don't believe in their hearts they actually believe it, but they just publicly put it out there to gain notoriety or to maybe come closer to you know bridging some gap with the Sunnis out there who are gullible. Uh, but one of the proponents of this was uh, Ammar Naqshwani. <clears throat> and he's a famous speaker for the Shias. He delivers many lectures and he's a, 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 you know, a, a big figure among them. And he has at many places, uh, said that, you know, we shouldn't make la'an of the uh, companions and the wives of the Prophet wasallam and, and things like that, right? He makes these statements uh, because, you know, this is not for what they are allowed to do and, and they're prohibited to do so. And, you know, he, he calls the ones that do that mischief makers and they are from extreme and this is not what, you know, Shia is about or the Shia is about. But, um, you know, I come to, I, I, I thought, okay, fine, this is not bad. You know, hey, I mean, uh, at least if they want to do it, they do it privately. They don't, they're not going to, you know, have the nerve to do it publicly. So that's fine. And then recently I started watching this uh, program that they came up with uh, for Ramadan, uh, the Shia Voice 2022. <clears throat> and I wanted to see, because for me it's comical, right? There's plenty of, you know, stupid, like, comical performances and just the you can see the amount of shirk and kufr and delusion that you can see among them and I so I just you know would watch episodes here and there and so I happened to come across the grand finale of this and there's this one guy who is a poet and that's his job his, his job is to make English poetry or his skill is to make English poetry uh, about the Ahlul Bayt and so I'm listening to this. And by the way, before this final episode, I'm listening to some of these uh, nohas in, in, in Urdu and, and the other, these uh, latmiyas that they have. And, and, uh, they, they're, they're, and I, I hear in between, in Arabic and in Urdu, they're making la'an in some, you know, uh, uh, you know like in, in, in a very discreet manner, right? Uh, and I'm just noticing that because it wasn't that much before. Like, I mean, in the, in the early on and in the semifinals and... But I was noticing specifically in the finals that there was land being thrown more. I mean, there was land being thrown. Like, I never heard it. So I'm like, oh, this is interesting. But uh, then I come, come across this guy. Uh, and he's going to uh, demonstrate his poetry. Uh, or he, and I'm going to show you a part of uh, the poetry that I found shocking uh, and really telling about the way some of these people feel. So l let me play it and then we'll go ahead and, and comment afterwards. Each one that acts as Khalifa wears a crown that's completely ghasri. So we send a hundred la'ana on you like we're doing tasri. Ah, ah, <laughs> 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 repeat, 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 repeat. Each one that acts as Khalifa 
wears a crown that's completely ghasvi. So we send a hundred lakna on everyone like we're doing tasvi. Uh -huh. Imam Khad. So this is what you see is that they are making la oh he's making la'an um the khulafa right because he says they made you the fourth and the khulafa before you so obviously he's talking about abu bakr the father-in-law and a siddiq of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam then obviously umar bin al-khattab radiyallahu anhu al-faruq the father the father-in-law of the prophet and his one of his closest companions and the second best among them after abu bakr Abu Bakr being the first, then you have Uthman radiallahu an the third, Al Ghani, the son-in-law of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam twice over, and so he's making laan on them, and he makes the laan in between. And here's the funny part: Ammar Nakshwan he goes, oh, 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 getting excited. He got his panties wet at the moment. Somebody made la'an on the Khulafa al-Rashidun, or the, the three caliphs at least. And this is telling. Not only him, but these stupid mu'ammam, these tire heads, were also engaging in this gloating. Oh, oh my God, they made that. Oh, so great. Oh, we make la'an. Oh, so funny. Ha, ha, ha. We got him. We love this. Can you say it again? They begged the man to say it again. They begged him to say it again. This is how much they enjoy it. I watched this man's poetry. They never had him repeat a single line of poetry until he began to make la'an. Imagine that. The only time they got excited like this is when he was making la'an on the caliphs. On Abu Bakr, Umar, and Uthman. And this is Ammar Nakshwani, who's a judge. He didn't condemn this man. He didn't say, no, 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 no. Our ayatollah. He said, we can't do this. No, this is not right. Rather, he laughs and gloats and turns around and says, repeat it. Say it again. Tickle me fancy. You know, do it again. This is what he says. This is what he's indicating. So whenever Ammar Nakshwani comes out with one of his bogus lectures trying to talk about unity, you remind him of him gloating in the fact that there's mass takfir happening. <laughs> I mean, literally, quite literally. And they gloat on this. And this is the problem. So, there you guys have it, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. The verdict is out. Even the moderate ones among them, they have no issue making public la'an on the greatest men of this ummah that walked the face of the earth and that brought Islam by the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to their majusi lands and made them Muslims and yet these are the people that they curse. The ones that are the son-in-law, the one that are the father-in-laws of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the one that commanded, carried on his message, preserved his religion, maintained his orders and were guaranteed paradise, the ones who sacrificed everything for Islam, they get hard-ons for basically, you know, for, for insulting them. This is what we find. So next time they come to you and tell you, no, we don't make la'an, this is not true, this is the Shirazis, we're not, they're not the, they're an extreme marja, we don't believe this stuff, you remind them. Your public figure on Imam Hussein TV, Ammar Hussein, and in front of Shia voice, where all of these rawafid pigs were, 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 were jumping up and down, they were celebrating this and asking him to repeat the la'an because they enjoyed it. And these are zanadaqa. These are the people who will be in the hellfire. The ones that insult the companions and the ones whom Allah loves, uh, they will uh, pay severely for this in al-akhirah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to raise the status of our Khulafa al-Rashidun and to honor them and to give them the highest places in Jannah. Allahumma ameen. That's it for this episode, guys. Make sure you smash that like button, share the video, and make sure to subscribe. Until next time, take care. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Must be buzz, must be buzz, must be buzz,